Hello, and welcome to episode 10 uh, of How to Build this Little Space Game. And I'm going to talk about damage. First, I'm going to say that there are two parts to every damage engine. One is the kind of response the ship has to actually getting physical damage. So, you run out of hit points, you explode. You take system damage, whatever it is. But the other one is how the ship shows visual feedback and audio feedback, although we'll be skipping that part, um, shows feedback to getting hit. And that's what we're going to work on today, because I find that if we do that part first, then the second part is more interesting. Um, you get instant feedback, it feels good, it feels sharp, and you can always move forward uh, with confidence. Whereas if you do the damage first, uh, the, the system damage first, and then the visuals, the working out the system damage feels cold, and, and uh, you lose steam. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create some particle systems for doing damage to ships, or ships showing damage. So here is, in fact, our particle system. We'll call this damage particles. And we want this to be basically smoke uh, with a little bit of fire. So let's go ahead and make this the fire part. Um, so we're going to want it to be... Uh, let's go ahead and just grab a material first. And this may be mostly me... This episode may mostly be me working with particle systems. I wouldn't be surprised. Fire add, that looks good. I like that. Where are you? Uh, where did I put it? There it is. Alright, so that's the damage particles. Um, let's go ahead and bring the speed way down. Uh, and the lifetime way down. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and make it so it fades out. And then we'll make it so it actually shrinks out. There we are. That looks like burning space debris. Doesn't it? I think so. So this is what we'll use for our damaged particles, but we actually want to have inside of the damaged particles a smoked particles. And those have a different uh, thing going on. Uh, the smoke particles are going to have a, a different material. How about uh, smoke? That'll work. Uh, but we'll want it to have a much longer lifetime, like five. Uh, let's go ahead and make it so the speed is slower. There we are. Give it a lifetime of ten. So I've actually done a little bit of a boo-boo here, and we're going to fix it up right now. We're going to call this the damage particle chamber, uh, and we're going to put these inside of it. And the reason for that is because we want to be able to set these emission rates separately, um, and we don't want to have that uh, screwed up by one being the parent of the other and making mistakes with what get component and children and so on. So this is going to be the basis of our damage. Let's go ahead and make the smoke particles darker, um, but also make them significantly larger. There we go. That looks more like it. These are both local. Let's make them world. We don't want them to be local. All right, so now we have a damaged particle chamber, which we can put in our uh, prefabs. So just drag it down there. So over in ship, uh, we need to have a... That's that's my directory. That's not what I'm looking to do. There it is. Um, so we actually have added... I don't need that one anymore. We've added a damage particle, particle system variable. So we need to go ahead and add this to those ships. Uh, and we're actually adding it. It's not something we spawn and then despawn. It's something that exists in the ship. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put another one on the dummy ship. And then in both cases, we'll just drag it into the damage particles. Oh, we can't. That's right. Uh, it, sh it cannot actually be a particle system. It is, in fact, a game object. Uh, that'll work. Oh, I've got some crap here. That's from a failed first take. You don't need to see it anymore. It's not 
So let's go ahead and drag it over. Oh, come on. Do it right. Alright, so how do we make that work? Well, we've got this new variable I've added just now called hull damage. And hull damage actually gets set down in the take damage section. And I forgot to delete this, I'm sorry. I should have deleted it and retyped it, but this is just it. Uh, when your shield gets hit, we're going to subtract your shield's percentage from the damage you take. And, uh, and that, in turn, will decrease the damage that actually gets through to your hull. So if you're at 90% shields, your shields will decrease some and you'll take 10% of the damage. If you're at 10% shields, you'll take 90% of the damage. We may change that later. It depends on how we feel. And then we do hull damage plus equals damage remaining. But up here in hull damage, we're going to do something that you should be very familiar with by now. And then we're going to go ahead and set it equal to our hull damage uh, divided by 5. There we go. Uh, actually, we'll go ahead and set it equal to the math uh, math f dot square root of our hull damage. There we are. Um, so right now, we default to these having an emission rate of 10. We're just going to set that to 0 so that we don't have to worry about setting it to 0 later. Uh, otherwise, we would have had to set it to zero at start, and that would be kind of annoying. So here we are. Let's go over to the ship and see what happens when we damage it. Seems to work. Uh, unfortunately, it's not exactly centered on the ship. The problem with that is actually the nature of the dummy ship, not the nature of the particle systems. Um, the particle systems are in the right spot, but uh, in order to make it so that they appear to be on the dummy ship, we've got to move it. Uh, a little bit. Oh no wait, these are in the wrong spot. What am I thinking? Ah, uh, I was lying to you. There we go. So we got on a good hit, and as you can see, damage has accrued. And the ship is burning. Burning! Um, now, we actually also want to create particle effects for damage, for damage taken by my ship hitting their ship with a weapon, but that's actually pretty involved, and I'm going to wait until after we've separated out the weapons into different classes, because we need to have a different kind of damage response to each class of weapon. Um, one of the things I did change, and I did this uh, uh, on the sly, oh, I should have told you about it. Here in take damage, we don't, we no longer take a world position. We take the raycast hit that hit us. So in order to give someone damage, you've got to have a raycast hit that hits them. Um, and this is important because when we want to do uh, the system later, where we um, uh, where we have a different kind of damage response depending on what kind of weapon hits. We'll want to point the particle effect back at, in the direction of the hit. So, you know, if we get hit by a laser, we want to fire sparks off in the direction the laser came from rather than just arbitrarily making things burn. So this is kind of an arbitrary damage uh, here where you don't have any particular... It's not like focused on any particular location on the ship. It's just, you know, smoky all over. Um, and that's something that's fine for uh, our uh, our general damage indication. We could actually create different particle effects for every damage that you take, but I'm assuming that you don't want to create that kind of high fidelity game. Uh, we'll be moving much too fast for it to matter in terms of how we combat each other. So 
that's this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, keep in mind that particle effects make my video files very large, and I have a 2 gigabyte max, so things might get a little bit shorter in the future as we add more particle effects.